Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day to all of you. So my name Dr. Ismail Muhammad Arifin. So I will conduct uh, a Kodi lecture session for for the third part of biofuel technology subject under title of biodiesel fuel deposits and biofuel. Okay, so as in introduction for my part, I will start with my education background. Okay, for my education background, so my first degree, so for my bachelor degree, so I obtained my degree in 1999 at University Kepasan Malaysia, Malaysia. So my degree title is in uh, what I call the mechanical and material engineering, and then in ninety uh, in two thousand two, I continue my uh, master degree in United Kingdom at University of Manchester Institute of Science and Technology, and obtained my master degree in two thousand three. So after th after three years from my master degree, so I so I continue my study in PhD. Start from two thousand six in Japan, in Gunma University, under Faculty of Engineering. So my specialized during my PhD study is about the biodiesel fuel deposit. So in this photo shows the my uh, lab member that consists of majority of them is Japanese majority of them are Japanese and we also have the I call lab member from Vietnam Sri Lanka and also Malaysia so the, the middle position in the photo is my main supervisor professor Dr. Masataka Arai so I obtained my PhD in 2009 so that's all for my education background now I will explain about the content of my part about biodiesel fuel deposit and also about biofuel. Okay, in terms of chapters, there are three chapters involved in my part. First chapters or, or chapter number four involve is introduction to fuel deposit. Chapter number number five, we will discuss about fuel effect on deposition, and the last one we will discuss about the bio cell, bio gas, and also bio mass. So for chapter number four, in day one for morning session, uh, we will have lecture session and discuss about introduction to fuel deposit. And afternoon for afternoon session for day one, we also have the lecture session for chapter number five. We will discuss about fuel effect on deposition, and the rest, the rest of of the day, I will let you to search uh, the proposal title for my assignment. For chapter number six, uh, in, the, in terms of uh, I call the topic for bio cell, bio gas, and also, and also biomass, there are no lecture session, but the content of this chapter will cover under assignment number two. Okay, so for day day two, for morning session, so I will let you uh, use the time for assignment preparation. And for the uh, afternoon session, end of the afternoon session, so I uh, you have to uh, uh, I make your presentation for the for the assignment. As assessment for my part. Okay, about assess assessment percentage. So first, you will have um, one project under Dr. Mama Isa is about thirty percent. Under Professor Dr. Nur Effendi, you will have one assignment around twenty percent. And under my uh, part, so you will have also one assignment. So you will have in terms of assessment percentage about twenty percent. And the rest is for uh, tests, about thirty percent. Okay. Okay. Now I I will explain about my assignment, assignment number two. So I will explain what you need to do for this assignment. 
Okay, for the assignment, what you have to do. So, you need to search and study a gender paper about by your cell or by your mess or by your guess. So, in terms of activities, your first activity, so you need to propose a general paper title um, during day one at afternoon session. So, in terms of topic, so you'll have bio, biofuel cell topic, biomass, and also bio gas. So, for each student, in terms of topic, I will decide the topic for you. Later on, I will explain. Uh, maybe during after my class start, I will decide uh, for each student which topic you need to conduct. Second activity. So you will have assignment preparation in day two during morning session. So you need to prepare your video or your presentation during this time. And for the third activity, you have to um, you have to submit your video presentation um, in day two after afternoon session. So you need to remind that. So you need to remember that the paper must be an experimental or simulation investigation. Okay, for proposal selection, after you already select uh, the suitable title based on your topic, you have to submit uh, the full gender paper in PDF format to me. And I will check if the title is accepted, you can proceed with your video presentation. However, if the title is rejected, you need to find a new gender paper title. So the, the rejection may be due to the topic of the title is not related to the topic given. Or the gender paper is unreliable in terms of, in terms of data. And the topic may be same with the other student. So I have to reject the title. So you need to find a new general paper title. Okay, in order to submit the proposal, what you have to do? First, if you have a hard copy of the paper, you need to scan to PDF in one file. However, if you have in digital format, so just save in your Google Drive. And then uh, copy the link of of your file. Submit through Google Form provided in my blog. So if you go to my blog, you will have the assignment part where you can submit. And also you can see the, the, sta uh, the status of your submission. So if you click submit button, so you will see uh, I call the blog will give you a Google form that you need to fill uh, whatever data that you need to provide in the form and then uh, you need to paste the link in the Google form and then submit to me and after that you can look at the status whether your title is accepted or rejected okay that's how you can submit your proposal to me for PowerPoint video presentation in terms of content. So for this assignment, you have to make 10 minutes uh, PowerPoint video presentation. So maximum is 10 minutes. So in terms of content, first, uh, you need to uh, provide the information in terms of why they conduct the investigation based on the paper. Point number two, you need, you need to explain the method used in the paper. You need to provide the schematic diagram. And also, you need to explain the schematic diagram. Point number three, you need to explain the significance of the result that obtained from the paper. And the last one, you need to explain the benefit uh, in terms of the result that obtained from the paper for the real-life situation. So, these are the... Uh, four main con contents that you need to provide in the video presentation.
for the video presentation assessment criteria uh, so total in total you will get 20 percent 20 percent of your total uh, mark carry mark uh, for the for the subject so the first is 5% is for the content of your video presentation and also I will give you 5% in terms of understanding so I, I will evaluate in terms of understanding about the paper 5% for your understanding about the paper your communication skill 5% and also your creativity which is refer to how you simplify the content of the paper so i will give you five percent for the creativity so in total you will get 20 percent okay power about powerpoint and also animation format so if you look uh, for the first type of slide for example as shown the slide so i want you to prevent this kind of powerpoint presentation so in this type of powerpoint presentation there there will be a lot of sentences a lot of uh, I call uh, explanation uh, in terms of sentences and the presenter will just read whatever the content in the slide so you need to prevent to or I call to make this kind of PowerPoint presentation so what I want you to do you need to provide the second type of PowerPoint animation presentation as shown in the slide so you need to minimize the sentences in the slide. You need to use suitable diagram or chart to aid your presentation. And you need to use your creativity to simplify the complicated content. So try to minimize the sentences in order to explain whatever content of the paper in your video presentation. And in your video presentation, you need to have uh, what I call one part that shows your 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 screen uh, during the presentation so i will i will show you the or call the example of this kind of presentation later on okay now it's about the vid your video pre presentation approaches first you need to use a recording command in powerpoint or other similar apps in order to create your video presentation so you can use powerpoint so in the PowerPoint, you will have uh, what I call a command that can be used to record your presentation. Or you can use screencast o -Matic, Keymaster, or Shortcut. So there are lots of apps that can be used to create your video presentation. So you need to explore by yourself. And then, you need to make sure that you, you need to use your own voice cannot use any software to pre to represent your voice and the video must have your screen section and you need to make sure you need to make sure that uh, you mention the original authors of the paper in your video okay for example so this is an example of previous uh, video that signed by the student so this is your screen section and also you need to mention in your in your video the original authors of the paper and then you need to publish your video in the youtube okay for example as shown in the figures so you need to upload your youtube in your maybe in your youtube channel and then after you republish you need to share the link of your youtube and also your PowerPoint file through the link provided in my blog. So just uh, find out uh, the assignment section in my blog and click the submit button for video presentation as PowerPoint file. So uh, the blog will pop up the Google form. So you can paste the video link and also PowerPoint file link into the Google forms. And also uh, under this uh, assignment um, assignment part in my blog, I also provide some video example. So you, you can click the link to see uh, example of the video presentation for my assignment. References and documentation for my part. 
Okay, for my part, all documents in terms of lecture notes and others, and also the submission, uh, are through my blog, drismadi.blogspot.com. So you just Google my blog, and then you will see this kind of features, my blog features. And then in order to find your document, and also the, your submission link, just click the Master of Sign tab and then you can see I call the page for your uh, subject biofuel technology so in this page you can find your lecture note you can download for my parts you can uh, what I call get the information for the assignment and also you can submit your proposal and also you submit your video presentation under the assignment and also you can see your carry mark okay so that's all for my introduction for biofuel um, but for biodiesel fuel and also for biodiesel fuel deposit and also biofuel um, parts